And your third variation in this one, and that's the last one, is your linear. And that's going to be two bonded pairs, three long pairs, and five total pairs. The angle on this is 180. Because it is linear, and it's got three sets of long pairs, which end up canceling each other on the shape it takes. And this one is nonpolar. So what ends up is like xenon dichloride actually ends up looking like this. Lone pair, lone pair, and lone pair. So there's three sets of lone pairs in a totally different plane that allow the bonds to cancel out. So fluorine is more like I'm going to pull this way, pull this way. The bond angle actually cancels. Okay. And then the fifth shape is your octahedral. Remember, octahedrals have eight sides. That's why it's called the octahedral. And it's got six bonded pairs, zero lone pairs, six total pairs, and the angles are 90. And if all of the outer elements are the same, then it will be nonpolar. 